Hey guys, last video on Beta Tank Mates, we featured a Fluval Flex 15 in the video. A lot of you guys asked about it. Well, we're here today to deliver the goods and let you know all about these tanks because they are released and available for purchase now. So we're gonna go through them. Fluval Flex 15, Fluval Flex 9. Now, if you look at the design, really interesting. It's a bow front, but a vertically oriented bow front. It's got a nice smooth look to it and it flows right up here into this styled canopy that actually mimics the flow of what the aquarium is showing you in the front. There's an easy feed port over here for easy access obviously for when you feed. There's a receiver up top for the included remote that comes with the LED lighting in this canopy as well. And it's even got a nice little port for the electric cords to pass through the back neatly down to where you plug them in. Now the aquarium also features a very cool honeycomb wrap goes all along the front up here, conceals the water line, goes along the side, and also camouflages the side of the integrated filter system that provides your aquarium with some serious filtration capacity, which we're gonna get into next. Now we're looking at the back of the aquarium. Now you can see that this unit has three distinct compartments. There's an entry compartment where you have an inlet grill and a bottom grill, and that helps promote a more even water movement throughout the whole aquarium. Now this first compartment can be used for additional filter media if you want to. Now in the middle compartment, you've got preloaded media that comes with the system. There's some Biomax, there's carbon on top, for chemical filtration, and then you've got a foam block for some additional mechanical and biological filtration support. This fits back in there nice and neat. And then you come to the third compartment. Now the third compartment is where the pump is located. So there is a good water flow moving through here, and this is the compartment. You've got plenty of room to put a submersible heater in here. Here we use a, uh, an M-series heater, which is what we would really recommend for this tank. That does two things for you. First of all, it puts it in the compartment where there's good water movement, so it promotes an efficient heat distribution through your whole aquarium, maintains a nice even temperature, and secondly, your heater's out, out of the tank, so you don't really have to look at it. It's completely hidden from you. It's outside much better. Now let's have a look at the output nozzles. Here you can see that we have them adjusted so that there's really good surface movement. Now if you want good oxygenation for your fish, this is the type of position we recommend so that you have good surface movement, good oxygen levels. If you want to direct one, for example, to create a specific current, you could do that, but then again be aware that you might be reducing surface movement. Now let's get into one of the most exciting features of the Fluval Flex, the LED lighting that comes with it. 7500K white LEDs, which will support live, plant, live aquatic plant growth, mid to low level light plants, and of course, the Fluval Flex remote control. Now the remote control, with this you can create up to 80 plus different varieties of colors, depending on the intensity you select, of course, red, green, and blue, primaries are all the presets below and then of course white LED control can turn them off or select the intensity and special effects below. Now an important tip when you want to select a specific color is to first turn off your white LED. So shut them off, make the color selection and then adjust the intensity of the color with the RGB control buttons. Now speaking of dramatic effects we do have the special effects buttons as well. You can create a moonlight effect, a storm effect, or a slow color cycling effect. So there you have it. Any questions about the Fluval Flex or any other Fluval products, please hit us up at fluvalaquatics.com. 